The ranks of the Court of Appeal and the Supreme Court increased today with the swearing-in of three acting justices. Fern Carey was at Government House for the ceremony. Two new judges, Sir Michael Barnett and Justice Milton Evans, will join the panel presiding over matters at the Court of Appeal in the new year after being sworn in as acting justices of appeal. Sir Michael is an experienced jurist, having served previously as Attorney General and Chief Justice. Sir Michael pledged to execute his duties as acting justice without fear or favor and in accordance with the laws of the country. I'll try to apply the law to the problem that's before you and to discharge your judicial oath to be fair, getting rid of some of the backlog and uh, helping the other judges out. Justice Milton Evans said he is humbled at being sworn in as an acting justice of appeal. He also served as a former Supreme Court judge, lecturer and tutor and was a former partner in the firm of Evans & Co. Grateful for the opportunity to serve, you know, so whether it's acting permanent, it really doesn't matter for me right now because um, I'm going in new and it's an opportunity to serve and to learn as I do so. Expectation is that there can be a lot of hard work and what I want to bring to it is what should be there, fairness, dedication and hard work. Deputy Chief Magistrate Andrew Forbes will also preside over criminal matters as acting justice of the Supreme Court. He's urging all stakeholders to be fully engaged as efforts continue to address the backlog of cases. As all of the parties being actively involved in case management, including uh, the Office of the Attorney General Prosecutors, uh, the court, as well as defense bar, um, to cooperate fully in order to move cases through the system. Uh, one person by themselves cannot move a case, and it also requires participation full and active participations by members of the society who comprise the jurors. They must appear and they must be willing and able to sit. Frank Carey, Saturday Night Network News.